we're going to be looking at permutations. Now permutations refers to the possible arrangements of objects. When we're talking about permutations, order in time or in space matters. So for example, how many arrangements of the letters of the word quote are there? And so you'll notice that I could arrange it one way. I could arrange it as quote. And if I put it in this order, it means something different than if I put it in this order, U Q O T. And so the order in time or space matters in this case with quote. Now I could possibly solve this problem by uh, just putting all the letters in order and then saying, okay, I've done quote, now I'm going to put the Q second and the U first, and I've done U quote, but there's an easier way. And so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put out these spaces that are available for uh, the letters to go in, and instead of putting in the letters and uh, seeing how many different combinations, or sorry, permutations I could get that way, I'm going to say how many letters could go in the first place, and then after figuring out how many letters could go in the first place, knowing that I've already selected one, how many letters could go in the second place? And so that's my approach. And so, yes, when I'm organizing the letters of the word, quote, five could have gone in the first position. Once I've chosen the first position, however, there are only four letters left. And so in the second position, I have an opportunity to put in four letters. In the third position, three. In the fourth position, two. And then when I get to the fifth position, there's only one choice left. And so I can actually find the number of permutations of the letters of the word, quote, by multiplying these all together, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And so there's a special button on your calculator that will do this for you, and that's the factorial button. And so you'll notice that this is the one button on your calculator that involves a certain amount of enthusiasm. There's the little exclamation mark. So this means 5 factorial, and it means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Any other number, you're just going and multiplying together successively reduced integers all the way down to 1 when you're using the factorial button. Now you'll notice in our examples, uh, this is permutations 1, you'll notice in our examples that we used all of the letters so far. That's important to realize. The second thing that's important is to realize there were no repeated letters in the word quote. If we have repeated letters, we need to use sort of the same reasoning, but we need a little bit different mechanism to deal with the fact that we can't tell the difference between one Q and another.